everyone welcome to figure fantasy so we're here to discuss tia's build what you know what pieces should be with her especially when building your tenma team okay um she has a lot of buffs um towards teammates with the same brand sorry for that we will go to that in a while so first we will have to take a look at tia's skills okay so tia definitely is a defender so she although she has good damage to boot so uh again going back to her basic attack so attacks the first enemy again very basic um bonuses of up to 50 percent from basic attack when you have leveled it up then her ultimate let's go through her ultimate some of you guys might be might be wondering why her initial energy is at zero so there's a reason for that she's going to be generating energy uh with every uh with every ultimate that her teammate does so if you surround her with teammates that can can you know let out their 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 ultimates faster then she will generate more energy and faster as well. Okay, so let's go over her ultimate attacks, the current target, and deals a great amount of damage. So energy regeneration is zero as well. Upgrade effect boosts ultimate damage by 36%. Reduces the next damage taken for all allied figures by 50% at the start of battle and when unleashing the ultimate. So she has a very good um uh, what they call this she has a very good kind of buff because she reduces damage of all her allied figures take note of that all allied figures it doesn't necessarily have to be tenma but it's all allied figures level three is there is a 50 percent chance to boost tia's ultimate power by 30 percent after any allied tenma figure unleashes their ultimate so Level 3 only kicks in if it's ally, it's an allied Tenma figure. This effect stacks up up to 3 times and is cleared after T unleashes her ultimate. So there are a lot of damage going on here. There are a lot of buffs as well. And take note, Tia herself cannot restore energy but can receive energy recovery bonuses. So this is where Zephyr comes in. Okay, let's go to her passive guys reason for fighting at the start of the battle tia enters enhanced form after an ally unleashes their ultimate and all <laughs> okay so this is where zephyr comes in gives her energy and also this is where um empress comes in because empress um unleashes her ultimate as quick as it can be so they are actually the perfect trio to be together. So Zephyr, Empress, and Tia. So Tia will be healed and gain 25 energy. So this is where all the magic happens in terms of energy gain. So for every other teammate that has uh, that is uh, unleashing their, their, their ultimate, she gains 50 energy. While her damage reduction is increased by 16 percent for five seconds which can be stacked up to 14 times so 16 times 4 that's roughly that's roughly 64 percent damage reduction again so upgrade effect crowd control immunity boosts healing effect by 28 percent gains two stacks of damage reduction at the start of the battle okay so a lot of um you know a lot of things going on in her kit controlled um, the definition of controlled immunity, crowd control immunity, is she has immunity to frozen, stunned, knock, knocked up, and locked. So a lot going on in her kit. And the last one is her special, which is hidden command. So this is the usual has a 25% chance of reducing damage taken by 50% when attacked. So that is it. And the rest, level 2 boost crit chance and defense by 10 and blah, blah, blah. You know the rest. Okay, so we're off to Tia's parts. So let's see how we're going to be building her. There are two versions of Tia that we're going to try to build. So let's move uh, to her parts here. Okay. 
So, so far, you can build Tia two ways. Um, either you equip her with Lifesteal or Ultimate Set. The reason why I'm doing Lifesteal because I want to make her so so irritatingly um, irritatingly sturdy or resistant that I want to incorporate damage reduction, life steal, and everything. That is my goal here. But if you guys want to improve her damage output, you can actually use ultimate set. So four piece ultimate set, then the two piece defense set stays. It doesn't move away. So you only interchange life steal with your ultimate set. Okay. So anyway, the, those two are your choices in terms of parts. Let's go to the badge. I opted for this one as well. So it's a Defender's Exclusives or Eternal Valor badge. So boost block rate by 10% also restores 3% of missing health every second when health is below 50%. I know it's an overkill, but again, my point here is to keep her, you know, keep her from dying and probably bring her to up to near nearly indestructible. Um, she has a lot. She she has good buffs going around to her teammates, so it's good to make sure that she's around. The other options for the badge, let me just go over gallery. So, not this one. This one is also good. So when it start bad, um, this is your eternal bursting badge. When the battle starts, grants a shield to all your melee figures that absorb damage equal to 21% of the wearer's max health. This is also good. This one, recover 4 energy when the passive electric current uh, strike is triggered. So this one is good because it also generates her energy. Um, so again, all of these um, defender-based badges are good. So you can actually try them out and mix and match. For now, I'm going to use this one, the Eternal Valor badge, because that is the only badge that I have that I can, I think, give to her at this point. So for the other things, um, I don't know if... Uh, probably if you want to add more lifesteal, but it's going to be overkill. Uh, I, I would recommend the three exclusive Defender badges. For the Violet... Uh, color I'm not sure these are centered towards damage I don't know if anything fits her here or fits her kit but definitely for the three defender badges eternal valor badge eternal bursting badge or the eternal twilight badge these are the only three that I'm recommending on her the rest um, I'm not sure if it's going to be compatible with her kit F again um i don't see you know i don't see any compatibility based on the purple badges that we have so that is my recommendation for the badge uh let's go back to tia here and is if you guys have noticed i already if, if you guys watched my summoning video and if you remember, I only got T up to five star. Now it's already. I'm sorry. I, I, in that video, in the summoning video, I only got her up to four, eight, to three. Now she's at five. Um, did some pulls after, and kind of had better luck after that video. So she's at five star at this point. Um, I also included her a a. A adornment the adornment is available in the adornment store so it's mo store marble store and adornment store so it's gonna be here it's actually this one I bought it already for it's actually here you, it, this is a good deal so look, look at uh, this is a sure shot at getting her adornment um, while you know you are waiting for a better one so, but this one, this adornment is going to be good as well. This is going to give your team buffs. Let's go back and... So, this one enhances Tia's ultimate. Boost the ultimate power of all allied figures of the same brand by 16% after unleashing the ultimate uh, while taking effect for Tia immediately. This effect cannot be stacked. So, 
it's a 16% buff on all. Take note on all ultimates of all figures. That's actually good. So, moving on to team composition, guys. So, for the team, let's go to brand. Okay, I mentioned earlier that um, she's compatible with Zephyr. Of course, Zephyr gives energy. So, she should have a battery wherein she could get some energy. And also, she is compatible very much with Empress. Empress, as she kicks in her ultimate, then the passive of Tia also triggers. That is why you need Empress in that team as well. It would be a very, very sick team, I tell you. So... The other two, the other one that I'm mentioning is Mikoto because again, uh, Mikoto could benefit from the buff that uh, Tia is giving and also her twin, Kuroko. So Kuroko can benefit as well from the buff that Tia can give. So those five, eh, they're going to wreck havoc uh, if you bring your, your you know, your this team to the floor i'm sure that um you're gonna be using you, you could use it in some of the tenma exclusive stages um if you can't use um kuroko uh kuroko in that lineup i could probably recommend another uh another vanguard to replace probably rin could be good as a replacement um, for a 10 my exclusive team that, that that is what i mean so that is the team that i think could you know could benefit from tia um in some of the content and uh, please do build her with a good tenma team because again tenma has more benefits when you pair them with her okay guys so my final thoughts for tia um interesting kit I know why people like her so much. The the artwork for the base and the sculpture of the figure itself is nice. So the outfit is provocative. And what more could I say? Anyway, um, hands down, I think she's going to be the best defender for Tenma. You're going to be um, foregoing Crusoe's at this point. I don't think Crusoe's will be your primary defender anymore for, for Tenma. So, although you could bring them together, but she, um, Tia, will, will be your mainstay. She will, as soon as I get her to three, di uh, five diamonds, she's going to be unstoppable. So, again, um, build her well, guys. Um, either uh, ultimate set or lifesteal set, whichever you prefer. You prefer her to be tanky, then build her with a lifesteal set. If you prefer her to have more damage, then build her with an ultimate set. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.